Hi everyone, myself Harsha, I am Pega Trainer at Harsha Trainings. So all of you welcome to Harsha Trainings. So learn Pega in depth all the concepts at its best. In this video, you are going to learn about the concept of work object locking, especially what is default locking and its backend tables, all that you are going to learn in detail. Before we go to the video, so a small announcement that we are going to start Pega Training new batch starting from 31st May of this month and that is starting from next to Tuesday. Timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we have two modes of sessions like classroom and online live sessions. So anyone from anywhere you can join Pega Training uh, like online mode or if you are from Hyderabad you can join classroom training. And the course duration is and the course duration is three and a half months. And we are going to cover from basic level to advanced level covering two real time projects. So one will be taught in the class and the other one is going to be given as um, like an assignment uh, for you to work from your work at your free time. Call us on the number that is shown in this video for any training inquiry and we are going to show you job opportunities on Pega as well as we will help you uh, getting the jobs even if you have career gap after your education. Now let's get on to the video. So let's look at work object locking concept. See, in order to explain you about work object locking concept, I am going to create one more developer operator ID. Did we create it any time? One developer operator ID. Okay, you don't remember we created it? Uh, initially, we we created it you remember we created one more developer operator ID some time back. So, in order to explain you this work object locking concept, I log into PR. I'm going to log into BRBC by using other developer operator ID as well into the same application. Okay, what is the ID? Dev IMPL. No, what is our application? Bajaj, right? Bajaj Dev Op2. Is that the one we have used? So I have one more developer operator ID. Look at here now. Both two different operators logged into system. Now see operator one operator one clicking on the class name will see the work objects i mean it's a kind of search i means browsing okay operator two also clicked okay i will try to open one of the work object here which has some open assignment okay let me try that i don't know which has but this is this is the object 35005 this work update, there is one assignment called personal vehicle information. Operator one logged in and he opened an assignment, a work update 35,005 and trying to work on an assignment. Okay, he is editing. Now operator two also has opened the, try to open the same work object. Now he is trying to open. Now the system is not allowing him to edit like the same way. When operator one has done it, it has made the assignment open, kept the assignment open, and allowing him to work, allowing him to work on it. But in case of operator two, what is happening? It says C-35005 is currently being modified by DevIMP. Means some other operator is currently working on this one of the assignment of this object. You cannot work on it. We did not select any options for this feature. It is built in already available. This is transaction. A transaction at a time can be edited only by one operator. That is the default design of Pega. So parallelly two different operators working on the same transaction is prevented with its design itself. So now here the work object when it is been opened by operator one when the case is edited when it comes to editable mode what happened is the process commander has locked l o c k e d process commander has locked what it has locked the object process commander has locked the object in the name of operator one in the name of operator one now object one when it is being edited by operator one it is being locked by him on his name it has been locked when it is currently being modified lock is still there 
lock is as long as you are trying to edit it lock will be there and when the lock is currently being held by one of the operators any other operator here operator 2 trying to open the same case it is displaying a message it is currently being modified which means indirectly object 35005 is being locked by another operator operator 1 you cannot edit so after operator 1 releases the lock you may be allowed to edit it this particular transaction so when does the lock will get released lock will get released after a commit is been performed suppose he has edited this and he has submitted submit action is completed successfully i told you right for every flow shape end of the flow shape a commit will happen automatically that commit will release the lock so when does the lock will get acquired lock will get acquired the moment case is opened the moment case is been opened by an operator lock will get acquired and lock will get released when a submit action is being done generally in the ui other words we need to say this like when a commit is been done okay lock will be acquired when it is been edited and lock will get released unsuccessful commit usually when you submit it successfully it is done it will get released what is algorithmic design for locking okay let me tell you so the algorithm design for locking concept is see one of the operator try to open the case correct when an operator try to open case okay then prpc checks to see if the case has a lock already present i'll write down it other way case is already been locked if it is already been locked what does it mean someone else might be working on it editing it so if yes if yes then what will happen prevent current operator from opening or editing you can say from editing else else acquires lock else acquires acquires lock on current operator acquires lock for current operator allows him to edit the case this is the locking algorithm so the internal design of pega for locking algorithm is whenever an operator try to open a case process commander is going to verify if there is a lock already present if already present what does it mean someone else might be editing it it will prevent the current operator from editing if lock is not present means you are the first one trying to edit that means by that time no one is touching that particular object if not lock is not present it acquires lock on your id allows you to edit the case understand now the same algorithm with respect to its design internal design i'll explain you now see here where is that locking is being maintained so the prpc is locking and releasing the lock and where is this lock maintained where is it going to look at so i'm going to go to database to one of the table pr syslogs what is the table name pr syslogs view data first 100 rows you see you don't bother about the full value you focus on only work object id value see what is the operator ID here? DevIMP at the bajaj.com. And the work object ID only bother about this particular part 35,005, C 35,005. There is one record found in PR syslogs table with the for the work object C 35,005 on the operator. What is the operator? DevIMP at the bajaj.com. So this operator has locked this object this object is been locked on that particular operator id so dev mpl is the one who is editing currently so now the algorithm is going to be like this so locking is being done by making an entry into a table so prpc checks to see if the case is already been locked means it is going to look up the table 
what is the table pr says logs if a record is present on current work object if a record is present what does it mean if is prevent the current operator from editing if no else acquire lock on current operator what does it mean inserts a record into pr sys log table on current operator and allows him to edit the case so acquiring lock with respect to the technical design of pega is inserting a record into pr sys log table okay and releasing the lock lock will get released on successfully commit read means releasing the lock look at here i will submit that i will submit this and re query the table okay now lock is released or not i'll go and re query the table record is there record is not present means lock is released releasing the lock means record will be removed from the pr sys log so for a given work object there is an entry found in the pr sys log table what does it mean that work object is currently being edited logged and being edited and for a given work object there is no record found in pr sys log table there is no lock okay so like this process commander is going to insert a record into pr sys log table which means that lock is acquired it will delete the record from the pr sys log table which means that lock is being released okay and the table can be accessed from pr pc by using system logs is the class so which is mapped to the table pr sys logs definition and you can see a test connection you see this has been mapped to pr sys logs if you single click on pr sys logs it will show usually in a new window it, there are no records actually if the records are there that will show up here okay anyhow this is the concept of work object locking this is already present in the design of pega we, we don't need to select any options this concept is called as default locking this is called as default lock this is already there uh, like since long back starting from pega 7 onwards pega has introduced another type of locking called optimistic lock i will tell you optimistic locking later you will not be able to understand now leave it but here in default locking exactly at what moment the lock will get acquired what is the moment whenever the case is been open lock will be acquired and when does the lock gets released on successful commit lock gets released what is meant by acquiring lock what happens in the system a record will get inserted into pr sys log table that is what meant by acquiring lock what is meant by releasing lock with respect to this table record will get deleted from this table everyone clear and now i will ask you one question see i have a work okay one more point i have to tell you before that see if a work object is been opened by an operator successfully he is able to open means lock is acquired there is an entry made in the pr sys log table suppose i am the operator i am trying to edit a work object i opened that work object and without closing anything i had left for the day okay so i'll come tomorrow till the time i come tomorrow this form will be opened editing so means lock will be there right see for an ideal session of your whatever the login for an ideal session of 30 minutes lock will get released automatically if you are been ideal for 30 minutes on system whatever that you have locked that will get automatically released releasing means what will happen in the back end that record will get deleted from the table automatically system will delete that there are some agents and all we don't need to bother about it now we don't know the concepts okay so this is everyone clear this 30 minutes can be overridden to either 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes or 1 minute like this i will show you the place where to override after while we are working with case types okay everyone clear what is the ideal session time out for locking 30 minutes we can override the value from 30 minutes to any other minutes that is up to us and now let me ask you one question 
suppose there is one operator there is one work object that is been opened by operator 1 operator 1 had left for the day without closing it without releasing the lock operator 2 also wanted to work on that assignment but operator 2 do not want to wait till next 30 minutes you don't want to wait for next 30 minutes he wanted to immediately work on it that particular transaction work object for that business is asking you forcefully release the lock so if you want to release a lock okay let, let's say for example the other way around there are there, there is one work object in the table okay which has been locked and the operator is no more present to release it but we want to forcefully release it release the lock how do i release the lock what should i do in order to release the lock delete record delete the record but you cannot go to table back and table directly and delete or you cannot use a SQL editor to delete it because you will not have you will not be given access to open the database like what we are doing in the home version you will not be given access to write the database you, you have you will be having only read only access from any editor when you connect reduce the time so time instead reduce. of that the database itself we have to do it come again what was that uh, reducing the time since it is side relation for 30 minutes right we can reduce to that uh, uh, lesser time so that we will reduce quickly right if you reduce the time that will be applicable going forward old objects it won't be applicable you should not reduce it's just simply okay. releasing a lock for an object you should not impact entire locking time you wanted to delete the record from the table that is okay but how would you delete the record from the table what you should be doing for that what you should be doing uh, yeah ideally uh, this answer yeah, ide in the youtube video which i am going to post today 